Hey beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. And for your new souls that's chiming in, welcome to my channel. What an honor it is to have you here with me today. Hey, Cherie here from So Deep Designs. Uh, and I'm telling you, I'm excited about today's tutorial. Um, there's many tutorials um, in regards to what we're going to be doing today, but I'm always excited to teach and reach somebody new that um, may not uh, know or have not seen different techniques, okay? So I'm just excited, all right? So I'm not going to be before you long. Today we will be laminating and um, and um, mixing it with sublimation onto a wood board. This is a 12 by 12 wood board. I have my lamination cut. And without further ado, let's get to this tutorial. All right, beautiful souls, we are here um, at the heat press and I have my wood board. I have my uh, lamination um, on top of my wood board. And what I am going to do next, just make sure you protect your board. I'm going to put a craft piece of paper and I uh, am going to laminate this for about 60 seconds. Okay. And also please make sure that your heat press it's flat against your image because um, you want to make sure it's good and flush and you can have a really nice flat surface. All right. And so let me show you what image we're going to be doing today. And also make sure just like we do with any other piece when we uh, supplement, um, please go ahead and uh, do your reverse image. And this is the image we'll be doing today. Hopefully you can see, guys, because I don't have my other light in here. It's just a tribute to Kobe. Um, you know, today, I mean, not today, I'm sorry, this month, you know, we're celebrating um, some of our um, heroes. Um, so um, I chose him to do this with this specific project, okay? Um, and so, yes, with the laminated, um, you can laminate on wood, you can laminate on canvas. Um, and we'll get into uh, some of those uh, things um, later on down the soul line. I just wanted to show you the basic uh, concept of just um, a lamination in wood. And you can get a lamination anywhere. You can um, Amazon, your local office store. Um, so it's really easy to find, y'all. Okay. And also, this can be very hot. All right. So I'm just bringing it up slowly. And what I'm gonna have to do, which I don't mind, uh, the ends, I mean not the ends, but the, on the side, um, I'm just gonna cut and clip them. I just um, actually just let them, I mean let them fall over. Oh, let them, you know what I mean. Uh, I had them to fall over the corners because I want to make sure I had enough coverage all the way around. And then what I'll do after, I cut I'm going to paint all the way around okay and so right now I'm just waiting a little bit um, because it is hot y'all wait for a couple minutes let it cool down and um, then we're going to place our image and we're going to see how beautiful this is going to be all right easy fast gift y'all and you can cut your own wood I have cut my own wood you can buy your own wood um, it could be thin it could be thick just make sure that it fits under your uh, heat press okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kind of put it in the middle because and I'm going to tape and the reason why I want to put it a little in the uh, middle well if I can find my tape uh, because I'm going to do something around the corners of the piece. I really wanted to do something, you know, paint, um, you know, with his colors and, and things like that. So I really didn't make my image to fit like the uh, board. So, because I wanted to do something 
kind of special. So now I'm just making sure my image is uh, straight enough. I'm putting my tape on it because I do not want it to shift. All right. Just making it straight as I can. Okay. I'm using the same temperature and I'm going to do again 60 seconds. All right. And to me, it seemed like it could go a little more. I'm going to put it right back up under there. All right, guys, and there it is. Watch your hands, cause it's hot. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So we'll take it in a light for you can see. All right, beautiful souls. Now we're in the stage of our next step. Remember when I told you, oh, let's look at it first. Isn't that beautiful? And remember when I told you I want to keep this open uh, as well as this because I wanted to do indecides because I wanted to maybe sp uh, uh, sp spray paint it or do something and so that's what we're going to do right now so let me show you what I'm going to do bring you down here I don't want it too close to my camera okay so what I'm going to do I'm just going to use this canvas as a barrier because it's heavy I'm going to take some purple paint Shake it up real good, because I did not. I'm gonna spray around. Maybe the top. You know, a little bit of that side. Just playing around with it. I'm gonna lift it up. And I'm gonna put it back down because it looked like I missed the spot a little bit. Bring that up. And be careful because if it's stuff, I mean, if it's on um, paint on there, you don't want it to mess up your other stuff, okay? So we're just getting, put that here. Maybe I can get a little curved corner or something. Not thinking too much. Just spraying lightly. And you don't have to do this. This is just something I want to do something different. I should have brought a wipe uh, here so I can actually um, wipe off some of uh, the paint that I got like around here, but that's okay because I want to look like a um, more just like a feather anyway, so it's all good. Not trying too hard. That's all. Like a silhouette. Sides. Right. 
Wind blowing ain't helping. Wet. Okay, I'm just taking a wipe and I'm taking a little acetone and the places that I don't want that paint, I'm just wiping it, wiping it off. Wiping it off. And don't think too hard, y'all. You say, oh man, I messed it up. No. Mm -mm. But I tell y'all, art, art is what you make it, y'all. That's what makes beautiful art. When it comes and not planned, and then you can build and build. I love it. And then, since we have, of course, the gold and uh, purple that represents his team, of course. But what I'm going to do is take some of my other uh, paint technique. Put this over there and on the edges. Making sure I get the edges. I'm gonna take this off because I want to see. Wait a minute, one second. I am going to do this. And that's representing the mamba, all right? And you can still see the gold or the um, purple. You're still able to see. Just wanted to represent, oops, sorry. That was probably in your way. Oops. Honey, that's why I like acetone. If you don't like something, you take that joker right off. Yes, you do. You can't cover up Kobe's face. All right. And just like that. Let me hold this up. You can see. And look at that, y'all. All right, just spray paint. You, you know, you just be surprised how you can really, really, really um, decorate something. All right. So let me bring you back here. All right. Still a little wet. So just like that, y'all. You see? I hope you can see. Just by doing sublimation, laminate, wood. And I just took it another step, did some spray paint, but you can really, really get creative. Um, I just want to do a fast tutorial for y'all can get the gist. Okay, so that ends today's tutorial. Remember y'all, if y'all like this content, please hit that like button, share. Um, for your new souls that chiming in, I would love to have you uh, in my soul fam, all right? And to the next time we meet, cherish your loved ones and your folks around you because you never know when their last day may be. Peace.